Now welcome to part two. And my, there we go. And victory. They killed the, the last guys for me without me even having a chance to try and blow up the, the thing about there. And you can see the awards given out today. My medals. Medals, not awards. Medals. And then for some reason it's not there. Why did I do that? Oh yes, this battle is slightly glitched. Uh, I lost frames somewhere here. What I usually do is I always spawn next to this, because this is actually a spawn point I'm in right now, the carrier. The carrier is a spawn point. <clears throat> I get in there, hit the up arrow to get people to get into it. Then I head off into, uh, off to their ship. Generally, once they they uh, launch theirs, they will never land their, their carrier. Come in here, land, on fly, land, fly. If you leave anyone in your in your land uh, carrier, they will try and pilot it and blow up against the wall. Yeah, you can hear the uh, audio desync right now. See, now it's auto. Now what you really want to do is you want to just use two on that auto turret defense there, which helps your outside forces a lot. And then uh, here I'm using the precision pistol. Another award you, or uh, award uh, item you can get. Not item, weapon. Uh, after you get the auto turret, throw one of your last one on the this here, the shield generator. Then go refill, because it takes four um, <clears throat> detonators to uh, take out the shields from the inside. <clears throat> Man, my throat is starting to hurt. <clears throat> Take water. Sorry about that. See, and it takes four there. There, I'm starting to shoot. And you're not, your, your sound isn't messing up on the pistol shooting. It just does not make sound for some reason on my game all of a sudden lately. Yeah, I shot my own guy right there. I feel really bad about it. <laughs> and on, actually, the door on the left is the light support system, so I don't have to go in there anymore. But yeah, I love the precision pistol, because you can just spam attack it. You can rapid fire it. There's no, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, nothing bad happens from it. The normal, and see right now, it's, it's okay for me to die. It doesn't matter. Technically, there's absolutely no reason for us to be here. I could just leave. You know, I could take the carrier and leave. There's no reason we need to be here anymore. I just leave it here for the heck of it, just in case I want to take one of their fighters. And the A-Wing just spawned on me, so I take it. That's what I was waiting for. Now, what's cool about the pilot and why I never get the little marine guy that comes along with this level, like you can buy them or use them in, in uh, instant action, is they automatically repair the uh, ship so that you're in, so there's no reason to. Now, it's too bad I couldn't... All all my uh, recordings just are dead after this record after these uh, this recording. Because I had some space battles where I had the worst luck. I would, like, explode in the hangar for no reason. It was like, oh my gosh. I just kind of sit there going, what the hell just happened? But yeah, generally, the space battles, in instant action... Or not instant galactic conquest. What you could do is you could just uh, here. I don't realize that the uh, <laughs> I, the communications array was already destroyed. What you can do is you can actually just because space battles can be so easy because you go in their place, sabotage it, destroy it, and you're done. Then you know just go out, use a bomber, and kill some, blow up some stuff on the outside. You're done. Easy as pie. You can just actually build fleets over every ba everything that you conquer, and you'll never have a heart of a loss. And now, Felucia. I hate Felucia, so I get, get out, I grab Engineer, which is the second best class for me. Uh, my friend Jeff actually convinced me to start using it. And I got the, uh, I actually got the regulator shotgun during this recording session. Well, during later recordings. Felucia, you ever play it, get auto turrets. You can only get auto turrets in Galactic Conquest, but it is the only way to easily win this what level. In fact, it may be the only way to win this level. Uh, this place get, hands my ass to me all the damn time. It is that hard. It is, it is a huge pain in the arse. And I'm not kidding. It just... The reason is, is there are these mushroom stuff. People don't really take uh, cover in them as much as you'd think, but 
you get shot like crazy and you'll never know where it came from. And here I'm trying to figure out where the guy is because you see it's flashing red at the top of that little uh, thing there. That's because there's a dude there that was trying to take it back. So really with auto turrets it just saves your ass. You don't really have to worry about, about much. Just try and keep, you know, take stuff. Take stuff. Take command posts and kill guys. It's not very hard. This And this place is where the uh, auto-aim reticule thing comes in handy. Again, I don't think I have auto-aim on. It randomly will auto-aim, though, which destroys everything. I'll uh, put it on somebody, and then I'll try and shoot it, follow some, track someone else, and it will just resist me like crazy. It goes, no, you, you're targeting this guy that's your, you're scrolling off screen. you got to target him. And I'm like, no. I'm trying to shoot the guy in front of me that's trying to kill me. Yay, auto turret. No, they've taken a command post back. I must take them out! Yes, I, it, is it odd that I used a, a war game to calm myself down? I don't think so, because it's Star Wars. And that grenade right there. Really, unless you start moving away from a grenade once it's thrown at you, you're screwed. You're gonna get hurt by it. There are rare instances they won't happen, but you know. Here they're all over the place. I don't know what's going on. I'm just kind of shooting. Generally what I do when I play this game is I will shoot, reload, shoot, reload. I will not just shoot until I run out of ammo, because I hate running out of ammo, and that's usually when I get shot at. So I'll shoot a few times, and I just lost some frames there. I'll shoot a few, ta a few times, and then reload. Shoot, reload. Generally, I will shoot, then reload instantly, because by the time the next guy comes up, I'll, I'm reloaded, and I can just shoot him right off the bat there. Or at least kill and reload, I should say. And I got exploded. I haven't died very much so far, which is really I really weird. I usually die quite a lot more. Also, if there's something flashing white on your uh, command post menu when you're trying to respawn, go to it instantly, because that means they're about to take it, or it's about to go neutral. You want to be there as soon as possible. Here, I'm looking for the dude that's holding us there. He apparently died with that explosion. Now, I actually could be doing something else a little bit during this part of this game. <laughs> yeah, run right into their bullets and, and shoot their to shoot their face off point blank. That's a smart thing. And I was not leaving the battlefield. Look at the map. There's a lot more. Oh, and they just got their boost and troops, and I blew myself up. Hooray for grenades! But, uh, yeah... I've, I've tried to talk so fast, cover so much. I hate post-commentary. For this very reason. Especially because I never take two takes. Shooting things, that's right. Uh, boy, I've completely forgotten what I was saying. I should just stop and check what I was saying, but I guess I'll just go on to something else. Oh uh, yeah, uh, shoot and reload. It's It serves me very well. I never, I generally never run out, and I'm running backwards into a grenade, the path of the grenade. I'm not leaving the battlefield! Get back to the battle. This right here is the best command post in the entire level, right up here. It's easily defended, and though easily found, it's not hard to defend, like I said. A uh, good idea is to throw a grenade up here and then just Rambo your sit up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, just take them out. Hang out over here and watch over there, because they'll come back up after you. And I got Frenzy in! Hooray! And I jump in joy right there. Now they'll come up after me some more. See right there? They also could come up to the side of that tree right there too. Which is why you gotta be careful. We've captured a command post. The this, really, I recommend taking this command post as soon as you can. It's very, very hard to take though. And he falls off. Ha <laughs> ha! But yeah, uh, the reason why I'm not dying very much as composed compared to if you just start the game right... If I just started a new profile and I'd shoot that guy for fun. Hooray! We won, I can kill you. <laughs> is, um, there's a couple of, uh, medals that award you with, um, a defense boost. And an energy boost, and I think the last one's, like, a life. Endurance, War Hero, and Guardian. 
Uh, endurance is increases your energy, so when you or re energy regen, so you don't run out of energy as fast when you're running around. And I love that taming Felucia because it's just so awesome. Here I'm getting auto turrets for another time. Auto turrets is, is bitching in this game. Coruscant. We have to defend. Oh, Coruscant. And I think I used auto turrets by accident there. Cause y you, this is not an auto turrets area. But yeah, I have, uh, there it is, energy regen and damage, redu damage reduction. However, I don't know what the last one does. It doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know, I, th I think it maybe increase your ammo when you start. I don't know. We've lost the command post. This Take is the best back. thing to do when the, you start in that position. Just run to this area. Run across here. Take out guys while then you can. Throw a grenade once you get around the corner. Throw a grenade through that door as many times, every time before you go through it. Because they, that's one of they just come right under there. But don't... And I forget, don't even do my own advice there. Do not deviate to the left when you're running down that corridor. Gee, when it's Christmas, where'd these guys come from? If I didn't have my damage reduction, I'd be dead right now so much. I ran out of ammo, actually. thought that was a... The guy out there was the one. Don't deviate left and take that one. Everyone else will go to that one. Always go to this one. This one's more important. Trying to shoot this guy through the door. I, I accomplish it, but it's, it was such a stupid idea. If you don't get anyone's attention, generally they'll go headlong into another group of enemies. Here I'm trying to figure out who's shooting at me. It was up there. I reloaded at the wrong time. Someone else shot that guy for me. That was pretty cool. I still got the kill somehow, though. Dude ran past me. Ran past me again. Just gonna sit inside the door and wait for them. Dude is a bad shot. I didn't think that guy was there. See, they're coming a little bit quicker than I can reload, which is a pain. Come out here and start ramboing. Rambo! Dude, shoot me in the ass. Here, again, throw a grenade inside. Wait. Because that's a that's a popular spawn point right there. So generally throw grenades in there as many times as you have to. Get a good in there. This is not a safe place to just camp because of the healer. The uh, healing machines generally... They heal so slowly that you'll generally get killed before they can heal on you. Man. And this was... I do ballsy things like that a lot, but sometimes... You, sometimes it works. <laughs> I almost spawned way at the beginning again. I always like to come around the left when I do that. Uh, generally, you want to kill more people and take one of their uh, those little blue canisters whenever you're trying to uh, regain health. I think that guy was using the reward rifle. That's pretty cool. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know anyone except for you. The players could use those. And I kill a guy by accident. That's awesome. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, jeez. Die! Jeez. He'd have blown himself up with the grenade if I had killed him. See, right there was health. I saved myself from that. Instead of running off to try and get healing from one of those droids, I was able to uh, just survive there. Now, unfortunately, anyone can pick those up. Throw a grenade. I think I killed my own guy there. So, it's not really a good thing to rely on them because you can't just leave them on the floor. You want to take them as much as possible. And I don't know how I survived that. And I still got him. I still shot his face off. Fortunately, someone broke that one. So That's actually one of the reasons I got the engineers. The engineers are the only ones that can repair those droids. And they'll do it automatically. Someone, The computer will grab an engineer and uh, repair the droid automatically. Now, it's, it, we're coming down to the last couple minutes now. Uh, there's only seven guys remaining. I wanted to... I actually recorded myself doing the entire Galactic Conquest. Dude. And there I accidentally shot my own guy, so I mourn him for a second. Say sorry. I actually recorded the entirety of the Galactic Conquest, and I decided... I was going to post-commentate the entire thing. But... All of my footage got messed up. I lost like oh, almost a ton of frames at the beginning of like every single one. I somehow accidentally killed that guy. 
So I couldn't post it, so... <sighs> Sorry. Well, that's all. I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.